We've come on to Skinning Grove now to visit lots of Mr and Mrs Brundle. We won the Up North Combine just a few weeks ago. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Keith. Congratulations are in order, mate. You won the Combine just a few weeks ago. Where was it from? Folkestone. Yeah, there's a few few pigeons competing. 20,200 and something. Ah, oh, brilliant, brilliant. Performance of a lifetime, mate. Too true. What's one or two you have of good performances? Uh, the first Albert National from uh, Folkestone this year. We were... 8th, 21st and 54th combine. Yeah, brilliant. So we had a good try at that one, but yeah. we weren't as lucky as this one. <laughs> what sort of racing do you like? Do you like the short or the long? I like the sprint racing, really, you know yeah. what I mean? We haven't just really got the uh, the long distance blood blood as yet, you know, we're, uh, no, we're so looking you around. Yeah. How long have you been in the sport? Nine years, about nine years. We, we took over from... Uh, my stepfather had been in a while and uh, we knew nothing about pigeons. We just started to build a loft of this, that and other and he had our tuck and gone and left us with a load of pigeons, you know, yeah. so. We certainly made the most of them, mate. Too true. true. You know, <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you, It's hard value to compete in. Yeah, I know, I know. Terrific place to keep pigeons here, mate, isn't it? I mean, it's right in the valley here. You've got lofts all up the sides of the valleys. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, 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 yeah, it's, uh, like I say, it's a nice, nice valley to, to compete in. It must be brilliant on a Saturday, watching all the birds come. It is, you can, you can, you can more or less spot every loft that uh, gets a pigeon. Yeah, so, you know if you won or not. Well, yeah, there's three or four lofts that's out the village that you, you can't tell, so no. until you go down to HS, to no. headquarters, you don't know. This is your combine winner then, Jeff. Yeah, that's it. What system has she raced on? She's raced on natural. Yeah. She was a she was a widowed hen, like spare hen, uh, and she was flying out like morning and night for an hour exercise. And just in case my widow system, I've tried first time this year, fell down on me. Yeah, and uh, I lost a couple of hens out the natural loft, and she was transferred from a widow hen to a natural loft down on the eggs. Yeah, and she was sitting ten days. Oh, brilliant performance, mate! What family is she? She's a Bushart Johnson Cross. Yeah, has she won anything previous? Uh, she's she races as a as a as a young bird. She's got a couple of minor positions. She races as a a yearling. She got uh, four races she had. One of them races she was brought back in basket through bad weather, and she got a, I think it was a second and a sixth. Yeah, brilliant, mate. First combine, twenty odd thousand pigeons. Absolutely fantastic. Dream pigeon. Well done, Jeff. This is the fantastic view from Jeff's Lofts. Absolutely incredible. And there's a few of the club members the other side of the valley. What system you race your old birds on then, Jeff? Uh, I race on tow system, one like Widrood, and yeah. uh, have a few on natural as well, you know, just yeah. uh, it's the first year at Widrood this year, that's... Uh, yeah, how many cocks you race on Widrood? 18. So when do you pair up? Uh, uh, Boxing Day, and that's uh, uh, the, the, the stock and races. Yeah. yeah. What's your system of the widowhood then? Would you let them have a baby and then put them on the widowhood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 normally the, the transfer of eggs from Stockloff under the widowhood and then fetch that one up. Yeah. And down eggs again and taken away. Yeah. You know, so. What's your best results then? Widowhood or, net, or natural? Widowhood. You know, yeah. I, I, I would say widowhoods have been more consistent than what my naturals have, but my naturals have got us the best combine positions this season. Yeah. How about training? Uh, they've had very little training this year with the widowhoods. Uh, They've had three training tosses. That was uh, when they were down on the uh, second round of eggs. Yeah. Because due to weather, that was due to weather. They might have had more if yeah. weather had been a bit uh, better, you know. But uh, and the naturals have had exactly the same. Yeah. How about feeding? Do you break them down? Break them down, uh, then build back up, and it's just uh, how I do it. He's uh, 
I take some of the breakdown mixture out and replace it with ordinary corn. Yeah. So do you show the hens on Friday night? Sometimes. Yeah. And, to, and only to some. Yeah, some some like it, some don't yeah. sort of thing. How about on the set? Do you show the hens when they come yes, back? Yes, when they come back they get the hens. But the hens in the, in the loft, in, it, in its parting, and it's there for an hour. This is the Seaside Jeff's Widowood section. It's beautiful, light and airy. It's 16 foot long, with a grill floor. This section normally houses 18 Widowood cocks, but Jeff's down to 14 at the moment. You've been in the sport nine years then, Jeff. What families of pigeons you keep? Uh, mainly uh, Johnsons, uh, Clack Johnsons, and a few bush arts. Yeah. But, uh, Where do they originate from? Uh, the, the Johnsons are uh, Waltons from Gisborne, Jim, uh, Jim and Mark Waltons, and uh, the Clack Johnsons are Jefflin and son get from Gisborne. Yeah. And the bush arts, they originate from. Uh, Brian Cole at Liverton Mines and a man called uh, uh, Bussy uh, from Brandon up in uh, Durham. This is Jeff's very smart loft set up. He's got the Widowed Cocks trapping for open doors. He's got a small section for his Widowed Ends. Young birds are kept in the corner of the compound. He keeps a few natural pigeons an eight foot section on the end. How many young birds you breed each season then, Jeff? Uh, round about uh, 40. Yeah. Uh, at the moment we have 50, but uh, that's with buying in, yeah. like breeder buyers, different sales, and I'd want to tell that friends of uh, Red and uh, my wife and myself to, to give a try to, yeah. you know, and it, so we have 50 young birds at the moment. Yeah, you ought to mention your wife, mate. Yeah. What's her name? <laughs> Carolyn. Yeah, she's pretty keen on the pigeons, isn't she? Oh, she's a lunatic. You know, Is she? She's, yeah, <laughs> fantastic. You know, it's, it's uh, half the time, you know, I mean, she she's, does a lot, lot of, spends a lot of time here as, as much as myself, you know. Yeah, just give her full credit, yeah, mate. Yeah. So, young birds, what system are you racing on? I believe you're racing the darkness. It's on the darkness, everything, it's because of room, really. Uh, everything we breed and comes in, all go on the darkness system. Yeah. Uh, How long have you been doing that? Uh, this should be third year. Yeah. Good results? Yes, good results. Mr. and Mrs. Brundle of Skinning Grove. This is a shot of Jeff and Carolyn's loft on the other side of the valley. An absolutely wonderful view.